an image of the globe fades into the fossil of a sharp-toothed dinosaur head, which fades into a leopard's face, staring intently towards at the camera. The leopard's face fades into the white Natural History Museum logo, a large letter N on the left with the words Natural History Museum displayed in a column on a black background. A quarter of the globe spinning appears, and the sun's rays emerge from the right edge. In an animation, a bird's eye view of the world as seen from space over eastern Asia as the camera rotates upward. A cross made up of thin white lines with coordinates focuses in on an area of green land and zooms towards Earth, revealing two large vessels sailing side by side down a wide body of water. On-screen text reads, In 2006, a team of scientists embarked on a six-week journey along the river Yangtze. A man in sunglasses stands on a deck and swivels a very large pair of binoculars supported by a pole. He peers into them. On-screen text reads, They were searching for a rare river dolphin. Blurry footage of a long-nosed river dolphin swimming. The Baiji was one of the world's few true river dolphin species. A man in a charcoal sweater speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Dr. Sam Turvey, Edge Conservation Program, Zoological Society of London. It had very highly developed sonar and very reduced vision because the Yangtze is very murky and full of sediments. Blurry footage of the grey long-nosed Beijing dolphin swimming. The word Baiji means white dolphin in Chinese, so it's very pale in colour. In my opinion, it was the most beautiful of the different river dolphin species. Two Beijing thrash in dark water. On-screen text reads, but the Beijing was becoming an increasingly rare sight. A solo Beijing swims clockwise through the dark water. The first dolphin surveys in China were conducted in the late 70s and early 80s, and by this stage already the population had fallen to only around 400 animals. And by the end of the 20th century, there were possibly only 13 wild dolphins left in the Yangtze. A Beijing swims through clear water, an aerial view of the Yangtze River, dotted with small weathered boats as it meanders through an industrial urban setting. On-screen text reads, As the Yangtze River became one of the world's busiest waterways, a group of onlookers watched as two large empty cargo vessels sailed past. A group of punts sail down the Yangtze as white houses sprawl over the green hills alongside. A black and white photograph of a beige corpse. A group of people visible from the waist down stand behind it, and one person in the center holds a measuring stick above the dolphin. On-screen text reads, The Beiji fell victim to overfishing, boat collisions, and pollution. Two further black and white images show the Beiji hanging suspended from a ceiling, with tears in its skin. A long row of dirty fish hooks hang suspended from a horizontal wooden beam on a ship. Two small video images pop up on a blue animated map of the globe. The first, labelled Yangtze River China, shows the river meandering through an industrial setting. The second, labelled Whipsnade Zoo England, shows a group of people in green jackets leading elephants through lush green fields. The second image comes into full view, and then a group of youngsters peer over a zoo barrier into a patch of grass housing two brown bear cubs. Sam Turvey walks down a zoo path surrounded by curved metal fencing. On-screen text reads, By 2006, the Beiji was one of the most endangered mammals in the world. A group of cheetah cubs feast on an animal ribcage atop green grass. On-screen text reads, And the number one priority of the Zoological Society of London's Edge Conservation Program. A rhino stands motionless facing left atop a bed of sand. A cheetah lies calmly on green grass, its head only visible through the gap in a Y-shaped tree. Sam speaks to the camera. The EDGE program was established in order to conserve species which are highly threatened, but which also have very few close relatives. They're one of a kind, so if they die out, there'll be nothing like them left on Earth. A still image of a Beiji poking its nose out of turquoise water. The Beiji was the only member of an entire mammal family. It diverged from all other whales and dolphins over 20 million years ago. A still image of a Beiji in turquoise water, its body curved in a dome shape. A still image of a Beiji's head and upper body in turquoise water filled with black specks. On-screen text reads, the plan was to set up a captive breeding program away from the river. A large survey vessel sails steadily down the Yangtze as the sun shines brightly in the clear sky. We surveyed the river using two different survey vessels. Various male crew members survey the surroundings with telescopes and binoculars. Visual surveying using binoculars and big eye telescopes. A male crew member at the stern of the survey vessel unfurls a rope into the water and pulls it tight. And also by acoustic surveying, towing a hydrophone behind one of the boats. So we'd not only be looking for dolphins, but also listening out for their distinctive clicks and whistles. A male crew member watches an audio waveform on a white computer screen. Another male crew member looks out to the vast water through a pair of large binoculars. A crew member holds a pole with ropes attached, suspending it horizontally from the side of the boat out over the water. On-screen text reads, But despite surveying 3,200 kilometers of the river, no dolphins were found. One male crew member looks on, as another surveys the sea with a pair of binoculars. Two male crew members stand at the vessel's stern, and one tosses a rope into the water. A still image of the long-nosed Beiji as it swims in cloudy water. On-screen text reads, The Beiji is now considered to be extinct. Sam speaks to the camera. 
Witnessing the extinction of a unique species such as the Yangtze River dolphin is a really devastating experience to go through. The Beiji lifts its head above water and dips back down. For the international conservation community, it really needs to act as a wake-up call that we need to be far more efficient and far more quick to react to conservation crises in the future. Blurry footage of a Beiji as it swims rightward out of view. The image fades to black, and white text reads, with thanks to Institute of Hydrobiology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Zoological Society of London, BBC Motion Gallery. The image fades to black.